and welcome to our webinar, Chapter Books and Early Readers. I'm Julia Smith, Books for Youth Senior Editor at Booklist. Before we begin, I'd like to go over some technical details. Today's slide presentation and title list were included in the reminder email you received from Zoom one hour ago. To download them, please open that email, scroll to the bottom, and click on the links located there. You can also download them by copying the URLs on this screen into your web browser. If you have any trouble, please contact us at webinars at booklistonline.com. The audience is in listen-only mode, but we welcome any questions you may have. On the bottom of your screen is a toolbar with a section for Q&A. If you have a question or need technical assistance, simply click Q&A and type your message into the box that appears. We will do our best to respond to all tech-related questions, and we'll pass along all other questions to today's panelists so they can follow up with you after the webinar. Booklist offers closed captioning on all webinars. To enable or disable captions on your screen, please look for and click the live transcript icon on the toolbar mentioned earlier. From there, you can select show or hide subtitles from the menu that appears. If you choose to enable subtitles, you can adjust the size of the captions at any time by selecting subtitle settings. And finally, Booklist expects all participants to maintain an atmosphere of respect and fairness. Anyone who violates this standard of behavior including engaging in any form of harassment, may, at the discretion of the organizers, be immediately removed. Today, we have the pleasure of hearing from Kaylee Flagg, Children's Library Marketing Associate at Simon & Schuster Children's Publishing, Kim Carlton, Academic Officer at Teacher Created Materials, Kayla Helland, Marketing and Customer Service Specialist at Bellwether Media, and Alexis Lunsford, Sales Director at Little Bee Books. First, we'll hear from Kaylee Flagg. Kaylee is a Children's Library Marketing Associate on the Education and Library team at Simon & Schuster. For all four years of middle school, she won most books checked out at her library. So you could say her career is the ultimate expression of her childhood ambitions. When she's not reading, she is usually running in Central Park, attempting a new recipe, or following random dogs down the street. Thanks for being here, Kaylee. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today for my portion of the webinar. And thank you to Booklist for having me. Um, and everyone, you can see my email here. So if you have any follow-up questions or are interested in further discussion, please feel free to reach out. Next slide. So I'm going to begin by talking about our ready to read line, which is perfect for young readers looking to gain confidence in their skills. Today, I'll discuss ready to go pre-level one, level one and level two titles, but our offering does go up to level three. So this first level, our ready to go titles, focus on short lengths with each story around a hundred words, many of them repeated. They feature sight words, which are frequently used words that children will come to recognize by sight, such as the and can, and they also employ rhyming words used throughout the story for ease of recognition. Lastly, a guide at the beginning of each story prepares children for the story ahead by prompting them to sound out the vowel sounds and learn the sight words before they start reading. In this first title, Frog Can Hop is another side-splitting read from fan favorite Laura Gell about an energetic frog and an unhurried pig. And in Big Bub, Small Car, a monster who is too big for a taxi tries to get where he needs to go in this adorable and hilarious sequel to Big Bub, Small Tub. Next slide. Our pre-level one reads continue building on reading skills. These titles focus on stories that parents and children will enjoy reading together, series titles so that children will recognize characters they know and love, and simple words to improve readers' comfort with written text and letter recognition. These features are at their best in the monster-filled Og Meets Mog, an adorable rhyming story by award-winning and New York Times bestselling author, Amy Dykeman. And in this next title, experience the, word, the world from a monkey's perspective via the video camera on its head in the fun and exciting Monkey Cam, part of the Critter Cam series. Next slide. 
there we go. Now we're at level one. Level one stories feature high frequency sight words, which are words that readers will recognize and associate in stories that they're starting to read on their own. They have simple plot and dialogue, which is helpful in understanding the use of strategies to decode and better understand certain words. And lastly, our favorite level one stories feature familiar topics and themes, which helps readers identify plot themes and recognize characteristics in each story, as well as using pictures to help better understand what they're reading. In this first title, the New York Times bestselling team behind Parker Looks Up returns with this charming story about trying to make a good day out of a bad one. And next up, little fleas racing to the top of a mountain get a big surprise in the hilarious King of the Mountain. Next slide. Now we're coming into level two with even more fun and educational content. We've got longer sentences, which are helpful in teaching fluency and understanding groupings of words that should be read together as phrasing. This level promotes the practice of reading with clear phrasing, speed, and tone. But our chapters stay short and simple, helping readers familiarize themselves with the structure of a story and the separation of content. Lastly, this level encourages readers to familiarize themselves with interesting words and their meanings and challenges them to use those new words in other contexts. So chillax with the trends, fashion, technology, and inventions of the 2000s, and try not to feel too old, as I do, in flashback to the chill 2000s, full of fun facts, illustrations, and interactive back matter. And I'm so interested to share an awesome new adventure for us, one that kids are sure to love. We have the ready-to-read version of Transformers Earthspark, a kids animated series from Nickelodeon and Hasbro, now airing. See how the fan favorite Bumblebee spends his days in this exciting level two ready to read. Next slide. Now I'd like to talk about our quicks line, which are fast, fun reads. These are great starter chapter books for kids who are ready to break out of the ready to read format, but continue building their reading confidence. In SOS Mess, the third book of a spinoff series of our beloved Shark School, a young hammerhead shark named Harvey Hammer saves his friend from being turtlenapped. And next up, we have the 12th book in our delightful Little Goddess Girl series, seeing Artemis and Orion team up to help each other on their quests. Next slide. And now I'd like to get into some of our most exciting chapter books for the upcoming months. With easy to read language and illustrations on almost every page, these titles are perfect for readers who are still building their confidence but are ready for something a little more advanced than the ready to reads. So in the sixth installment of the East Love Adventure series, cool winds are sleeping through, sweeping through Seoul and everyone is loving the change in weather. Well, everyone except for Isla's friend and neighbor, Tora. Being from La Ciudad, Tora is used to celebrating this time of year a bit differently with mugs about chocolate, scarves, and most importantly of all, snow. Luckily, if there's one thing Isla knows, it's how to show off the unique wonders that the tropical soul has to offer. Next up, a very unlucky kid navigates the many challenges of the first day of school in the first book in the very worst ever chapter book series. After missing his school bus, getting lost looking for his classroom, and getting smacked in the face with a basketball, our protagonist, who keeps his name a secret, quickly realizes that he's doomed forever. Luckily, some new friends might just help him make it through the first worst day ever. Next slide. Next up in the Sajal Sinha series, a chapter book series about a young Indian American girl who loves science and has a big imagination, Sajal and the gang soar through outer space. Sometimes Sajal wishes she could escape being a big sister. After an embarrassing snot incident, her older cousin, Ash, is ready to leave the planet, too. Ash has been working on a very cool science project about a theory that it rains diamonds on Neptune. Treasure hunting sounds like the perfect out-of-this-world adventure to Sajal, but getting to Neptune might be harder than she thinks, especially when she finds some stowaways on her spaceship. And now, for fans of Timmy Failure and Dogman, comes the third wacky adventure in the Tim Possible chapter book series about two best friends and a time-traveling T-Rex, this time taking on Wermoles. The evil Wermoles, an army of hungry, sharp-toothed rock munchers who are out to destroy their fair city of Metropolis. Will Tim's worrying superpower help them defeat the underground monsters, or is Doomsday just a worry away? Next slide. Now, I know how much we all love Stu Gibbs, so I'm thrilled that we have even more Stu coming down the line. Set sail to Atlantis with Tim and his friends in the Laugh Out Loud Funny, highly illustrated fourth book of the New York Times bestselling Once Upon a Tim chapter book series. 
Tim and his ragtag crew have been rescued from certain doom by a mermaid princess, but now she wants something in return for saving their lives, her father, King Neptuna's stolen trident. To pay their debt, the gang once again brave the Sea of Terror to track down the trident in the glorious city of Atlantis. But there's plenty of danger en route, as you could tell by the title, and the notorious Prince Ruprecht is lurking about as well. Can the junior knights ev evade the scheming royals and complete their quest? Next slide. And finally, we have some gorgeous chapter book graphic novels. In Out of Darkness, the 10th installment of the exciting Dragon Kingdom of Renly series, Ruskin and his friends go to war to protect their home. The Legion of Lava has stirred worry and fear among the regions of Renly. Some even believe the Legion was created by the dragons of Crestwood. Such are the evil ways of Valos, the villain who has wickedly turned neighbor against neighbor. Now Ruskin and his dragon friends must wage war on two fronts, one on the battlefield and one for the very soul of Renly. And finally, in this fourth installment of the action-packed Guardians of Corsa graphic novel series, the Guardians venture into the Fire Realm. Unfortunately, there's no warm welcome waiting. Instead, the horses learn of the Fire Oath, a promise Gamma Ray made as Prince of the Solar Herd to protect his realm at all costs, even turning against the Guardians. Next slide. So that is it from me. Thank you all so much for being here and for listening. And again, please feel free to reach out if you have any other questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gailey. Our next presenter will be Kim Carlton. As an academic officer, Kim provides professional development and training on TCM curriculum and free spirit resources for school districts, teachers, librarians, and educational trainers. She's a passionate educator with 20 years in various roles dedicated to student achievement. Take it away, Kim. Thank you so much. Uh, and we appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today. Next slide. So teacher-created materials and free spirit publishing have been creating innovative, imaginative, and award-winning books for over 40 years. Next slide. First up today is our new series of decodable books, Read and Succeed. This is a fun new phonic series with 90 books. The engaging stories and decodable text provide meaningful practice, application of skills, and authentic discussions. A majority of the words used can be sounded out on the sound spelling relationship that students have learned. These books contain few to no new vocabulary words that are not decodable or sight words. These titles align with both the science of reading and structured literacy. Next. This is an example of one of the text first readers. There are 10 text first books at each level, pre-K through two. You can see here that these books allow students to develop their decoding skills without the visual support. They can decode based on sound spelling relationships rather than use pictures to make an educated guess. Kids then turn the page and they are rewarded with rich illustrations or photographs. They can then reread this text and discuss what the text means with more detail. Next slide. All of the books have fun, vibrant illustrations or pictures, and these pictures support the story, but they don't tell the story. Next slide. The fun and engaging stories have non-predictable text. Kids will want to read and reread these books over and over again as they grow in their reading skills. Next slide. Each book includes a family engagement page, so families can extend the fun and learning with their kids. The, fo the Focus Phonics, Phonics Review that has been introduced in previous books and the high frequency words covered are all clearly listed at the back of the book. Only words that align with that, fo that Focus Phonics and the identified high frequency words are used, making these books truly decodable. Next slide. All of the books in this series are based on a systematic scope and sequence created by experts in the field. The phonic skills are introduced in a carefully planned order with logical skills from easy to more complex. These books also include a built-in review of previously covered concepts, which is an essential aspect of systematic and explicit phonics instruction. Two 15 book sets are available for each level. 
Next slide. Up next, we have Tap and Wrap, Move and Groove. Author Connie Berkstein Dow brings movement into homes and early childhood classrooms with rhythmic chants for children to move and dance to. Designed to link movement and language, rhythm and rhyme, these chants are for children and adults to do together, saying the words while performing the movement in the prompts. Next slide. Woven throughout this text are many opportunities for children to contribute their own ideas and explore movement possibilities, nurturing creative thinking, problem solving, and self-expression along the way. Dance chants also provide language benefits as children incorporate new vocabulary, recognize rhythm, and repeat the sequence of words and movements. Tap and Wrap, Move and Groove includes information for adults who want to enhance and expand those dance activities with additional music, props, varied words, and additional movements. Next slide. Next, author Rasha Hammond shows us that birding is a joyful, wonder-filled activity that anyone can do. Featuring the skyline and natural spaces of New York City, How to Bird invites children to explore bird watching with each page featuring a new birding strategy. A growing body of scientific evidence indicates that seeing and hearing birds makes us happier. And this book shows how everyone, no matter where they live, can be a birder. Next slide. Birding is a fun and accessible practice for coping with stress, practicing mindfulness, and getting outdoors and connecting with nature. How to Bird shares how to get started and empowers students to find joy in bird watching. How to Bird is also a culturally relevant, lyrical, and succinct text, and it is a procedural text with birding strategies. This is perfect for both libraries and classrooms, as this book can be a mentor text for educators teaching procedural writing for kindergarten through third grade. Next slide. Our next title is Rules, 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 the newest book in the Little Laugh and Learn series. The authors here are a mother and son team who bring an authentic outlook to the topic of rules. And since rules are a part of every kid's day from morning to night, sometimes those rules make sense but too often rules can be confusing and frustrating for kids. Next slide. This chapter book helps young readers understand the value of rules and how following rules can lead to more independence and freedom. It provides tips for following and surviving those rules, even the ones that the kids don't like. There's also a glossary of terms to support vocabulary growth that is included. Next slide. There are four books in this Little Laugh and Learn series, which is aimed for kids aged six through nine. The handy guides are go-to for help with everything from triumphing over teasing to learning to be a fantastic friend to becoming a self-confident superstar. These titles are perfect for libraries and for classrooms. Next slide. Our next edition is What on Earth Do You Do When Someone Dies? This title speaks directly to kids about what death means and how to cope. The book explores the questions that kids often have about death, why, how, and what's next in basic, straightforward terms. Next slide. Author Trevor Romain describes and discusses the overwhelming emotions involved in grieving. The book offers practical strategies for coping with those emotions and suggests meaningful ways to remember and honor the person who died. What on Earth Do You Do When Someone Dies is full of concrete advice and expressive illustrations, offering comfort and reassurance, which is what children need during difficult times. Written to and for kids, it's also recommended for parents and other relatives, as well as educators, counselors, and youth workers. Next slide. Authors Catherine Berger Kay and Philippe Cousteau teach elementary kids about the water crisis and empower them to take action in the new book, Make a Splash. Water is one of the most critical issues of our time and Make a Splash provides a kid-friendly overview of the Earth's oceans and waterways. And it helps kids know how to protect and restore the water on our planet. Filled with facts about our waters, their inhabitants, and the threats that they face, this book has inspiring stories of kids in action and ideas for ways to make a difference. Next slide. It is fun and age-appropriate language. Kids are introduced to ways that they can be a water change maker and advocate. 
youth groups, science teachers, and teachers of sustainability or environmentalism units will find this book to be a valuable resource. Also included are fluid facts, splashy sources, bubbly books, watery websites, and a glossary. Next slide. These same authors also have an additional title, Going Blue, to encourage older students and teens to learn about the water crisis and take action to protect and restore local waterways. Whether it's a drinking glass flowing downstream or miles underground, water is everywhere and it's essential for life on Earth. Going Blue educates teens about our water crisis and gives them tools and information to transform their ideas into action. Next slide. With color photos and illustrations, along with practical suggestions and activities, readers follow stories of young people around the world addressing water concerns and learn how to address such issues as clean water access, coral reef damage, runoff pollution, trash islands, factory fishing, and even bottled water. Next slide. In My Feelings gives teens the tools to decipher their emotions, understand themselves, and improve their lives. Author Dr. Vidal Anon encourages teens to think of, as, think of their emotions as messengers or sources of data that they can access and use to set and achieve goals. Next slide. In My Feelings starts by exploring what it means to be a teenager, what emotions are, and why people have them. In the second part of the book, Dr. Anand develops into specific or delves into specific emotions that teens may be experiencing daily. In My Feelings helps teens develop their emotional literacy and tap into the power of their emotions to improve mental health. Next slide. And finally, in Blaze Your Own Trail, author Justin Ashley invites teens to consider their values, goals, and interests, and then take steps towards building the life and blazing the trail they want for themselves. Teens follow the three sections of the book, the inner path, the outer path, and the onward path to explore a breadth of topics from developing a vision for their future to boosting their self-regulation strategies and emotional intelligence. They also learn how to make time for rest, practice gratitude, and connect with others. Next slide. Blaze Your Own Trail gives teens the freedom to read what's most relevant to them in the moment with short, easy to digest chapters. Far from a prescriptive guidebook, Blaze Your Own Trails supports teens in their journey to creating their own path and their own destination. Final slide. Thank you so much for your time today and this afternoon and for helping TCM and Free Spirit Publishing create a world in which children love to learn. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. We will now hear from Kayla Helland. Uh, Kayla is fortunate to work for a company that instills a love of reading for children. As a lifelong avid reader, she is passionate about encouraging children to read. When I'm not working or reading, she enjoys baking bread, boating, and taking walks with her husband. Thank you for being here, Kayla. The floor is yours. All right, thank you. My name is Kayla Helland. My email is listed here on the screen if anyone has any questions after my portion. Next. All right, Bellwether's mission is to improve literacy by creating engaging high interest nonfiction for beginning and struggling readers. Next slide. And why do we do this? Well, research has shown us that a third of fourth graders are reaching reading proficiency. So there is definitely an academic gap that is occurring, especially with COVID. We know that 50% of adults cannot read at an eighth grade level and less than 50% of students read more than 15 minutes per day. In one study, students who began a school year as a struggling reader, but ended the year above the benchmarks read just six minutes more per day. And as I said, the pandemic has definitely widened that achievement gap and has led to worse reader scores across the board. So how do we fix this? Well, we are all about um, high interest content, our premium design, we have in-house production, unmatched consistency across all of our imprints. We have fantastic reviews from Booklist, School Library Journal, other reputable sources. We have an excellent fill rate, which I will mention at the end. 
a lifetime guarantee on all of our books, regardless of where you've purchased them. And they are books kids love. Next slide. So why nonfiction? Well, kids are naturally curious about their world. Nonfiction books are more diverse in content and style than ever before. They are not boring textbooks like many of them used to be back in the day. Nonfiction improves vocabulary, provides readers with background information, and gives them personal connections to the natural world. A study in the Journal of Literacy Research found that more than 80% of first graders opt for nonfiction when they could choose their own book at the library. Next slide. So just some highlights of our fall 2023 books. We have 138 new titles. Um, 58 of those are going to be for early readers. So it's a good chunk of that. We have illustrated narrative nonfiction, graphic nonfiction, popular high interest subjects such as animals, sports, machines, space, dinosaurs, as well as curriculum aligned topics, history, geography, cultures, coding, and processes. Next slide. So these are our imprints, and I'm going to be talking about the first three. So Blast Off Missions, which is our narrative nonfiction imprint. This is for grades K through three. Blast Off Missions employs colorful illustrations and mission goals to enhance the engaging narrative structure that expands factual knowledge while building reading skills. Second imprint is Blast Off Beginners. This is for pre-K to grade two. Blast Off Beginners uses familiar high interest subjects to introduce simple concepts through basic sentences and high frequency words for a supportive early reading experience. Our third one is Blast Off Readers. That's probably our most popular and recognizable imprint there. Blast Off Readers adds more complex sentence structure, vocabulary, and a range of special features to build reading stamina and comprehension across advancing levels. And that's a K through three reading level. So next slide. All right, and then our four imprints that have blast off in the title, we kind of call our blast off universe. So like I said, I'll be talking about the first three on the bottom there, missions, beginners, and readers. So that's just kind of an overview of our blast off imprints. The first one, blast off missions, like I said, is narrative nonfiction, K through three reading level. Beginners is a pre-K to two interest level. Blast off readers is K through three. So blast off, our whole, entire blast off universe combines high interest subjects, engaging design, colorful artwork, crisp photography with nonfiction text to meet the literacy needs of elementary age children at all stages and help them grow into confident readers. Created by literacy experts and educators, each imprint in the Blast Off universe focuses on building the skills required for fluency, comprehension, and future academic success. All right, next slide. Okay, so our first one, Blast Off Missions. Like I said, this is our illustrative narrative nonfiction imprint. So this features narrative text and colorful, playful illustrations to engage and motivate young readers. Next slide. So this imprint, like I said, fully illustrated, it is at a K through three interest level and a reading level of grade one through two. They're 24 pages and six and a half by nine trim. Next slide. So this imprint also features a lot of special features. We have a Blast Off Jimmy character that reoccurs throughout the book and kind of shows up with some fast facts and asks some questions. There's mission goals at the beginning of each book and beyond the mission. We also have a lot of blurbs, special features, timelines, things like that. Okay, next slide. So our first series in this imprint that I'm gonna talk about is Cities Through Time. This fun series takes readers on a journey through different eras in the history of some of the world's biggest cities. Narrative text shares historical facts while colorful illustrations show off buildings and people from the time period. So we have Mexico City, New York City, Rome, and Tokyo. Next slide. So I'm just gonna show some spreads after I show each new set of titles, just so you can get a look at what the interiors look like. Next slide. So this one's Tokyo. Next slide. All right, then we have Machines at Work. 
And this series is, contains narrative text and colorful illustrations that come together to tell about a day in the life of different machines. Emerging readers can race through city streets with a fire truck, plant crops with a tractor, and travel the world with an airplane. So it features question prompts, summary infographics, and other features to engage young readers. So we have a garbage trucks day, a monster trucks day, a ships day, and a trains day. Next slide. Okay, next slide. And there's the Jimmy there that presents a Jimmy says fact there. Next slide. All right, then we have Blast Off Beginners. And this is designed and leveled to support first time independent reading experiences. Blast Off Beginners is at a pre-K pre to two interest level and a kindergarten reading level. Next slide. So the first series we have is Sports Fun. And this series introduces beginning readers to the fun world of sports. Each book begins with a playful narrative, putting kids into the action. Leveled text takes readers through basic information about each sport, including how to play, gear used, and more. So we have eight titles in this new series. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. All right, then we have Happy Holidays. This series for beginning readers introduces basic facts about popular holidays from around the world, including when they happen and why. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. All right, then we have Too Cute. So simple, predictable text and cute, colorful photos support students just starting to read on their own in this extending series. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. All right, then we have Blast Off Readers, our carefully leveled imprint designed to guide beginning readers through each stage of their journey toward fluency. Next slide. So this is just an overview. We have three levels in Blast Off Readers, level one, level two, and level three. So they're all at a K through three interest level, but the level one is at a grade one reading level, level two is grades one and two, and level three is a little more advanced at grades two and three. Next slide. All right, first we have See It Grow. Young readers explore the growth of common fruits, vegetables, fungi, and more in this level one series. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Then we have Who's Who Owls. And this one is very exciting. Um, yeah, so six titles in this new series and introduces early readers to different species of owls. Each page includes, page includes leveled text that covers basic information about the owl's behavior, hunting habits, and more. Brightly Eye-catching features and bright photos keep readers engaged in this one. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. All right, then we have animals at risk. In this series, readers learn about the threats facing these animals as well as ways that they can be saved. So we have six new titles in this series. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. All right, then we have beginning to end. And this is an extension. So we have four new titles in this series. And um, this just explains how a product's path goes from start to finish, allows early readers to follow that. Maps point out where each product begins in its journey, while another feature displays the important elements needed to get to each finished product. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. All right, then we have Countries of the World. This is a pretty big series. We have eight new titles. Each title dives into the geography, climate, and culture of a specific country with vibrant images and leveled text. Next slide. Next slide. 
Next slide. Then we have Careers in STEM. This is an extension with four new titles. This series for beginning readers explores the fascinating careers that use science, technology, engineering, and math every day. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. All right, so like I said, we have very few back orders. Actually, as of today, we have one title on back orders. So anything you order from Bellwether is most likely gonna be in stock and ship within about two days. So we're very proud to have very good fill rate on all of our titles. And like I said, our lifetime guarantee, that doesn't matter where or when Bellwether books were purchased. If you send an email with some pictures to customercare at bellwethermedia.com, we will replace your books free of charge. We know that uh, books can get damaged due to wear and tear in libraries. And so we just want to replace those if you find that the spines have gotten damaged after being checked out. All right, next slide. And thank you again for having me speak here. Here's my email and our website if you have any questions. And we hope you check out Bellwether's early books. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kayla. And our final panelist today will be Alexis Lunsford. Alexis is the Director of Sales for Little Bee Books and has over 16 years of experience in publishing sales and passion for children's literacy. Bring us home, Alexis. Thank you so much. Um, hi, I'm Alexis, Director of Sales at Little Bee Books. We are a small press located in New York City dedicating to, dedicated to publishing books for kids that feature diversity of cultures, acceptance of non-conforming gender and sexual orientations, empowerment of women and marginalized groups, anti-bullying through kindness and understanding, and awareness to discuss complex topics like environmentalism and mental health. Though issue-driven publishing is nothing new, we have dedicated our list exclusively to these ideals since 2014. In addition to what you'll see today, we have a wealth of backlist available covering all of these topics in practically every format. Um, I hope you'll take a minute to browse littlebeebooks.com and feel free to reach out to me with any questions. We're so excited about chapter books this year and next. Um, the category has become invaluable. For, um, as a resource for parents and teachers looking to help those kiddos struggling with their reading post-pandemic. It's a section full of humor and valuable lessons, uh, 64 pages for those learning to read, up to 112 pages for those doing book reports, and usually include lightly illustrated um, pages that help kids keep, ki um, keep engaged, and then also it helps with learning inference. Um, so we'll start with um, Little B's biggest launch in the category uh, to date, which is Bandcamp, a graphic chapter book on sale May 7th. The story is told entirely through comic panels. Bandcamp is where the graphic novel reader can start, featuring anthropomorphic band instruments, sweet humor, and lessons in friendship. Kids are going to love this series. In summer, it, or it's summer uh, at band camp, and Cordelia the accordion, Trey the triangle, Kaylee the ukulele, and Zook the kazoo head off to camp where, where they all meet when they're assigned to Bunk J, nicknamed Junk Bug by the other instruments. So despite their differences, they'll have to become fast friends and as they explore the wonders and challenges of the camp, including ca cafeteria food fights, camp pranks, and ghost stories. From Brian Smitty Smith, the creator of the popular PB&J chapter book series, we have four books scheduled, one per season beginning May 7th, Band Camp all together now, followed by Band Camp Group Solo in September. Our best-selling and most established chapter book series is Alien Next Door. With nearly 500,000 copies sold, the series book one is continually hitting bestseller lists and is a Sunshine State Award winner. Um, we're up to book 10 here, and the series is also rolling out in Spanish as well as bind-up versions. Alien Next Door features Zeke, the new kid, it's so hard to fit in as the new kid, but what happens when you're an actual alien? Well, classmate and neighbor Harris suspects something's different about Zeke, but doesn't want to jump to any conclusions. 
Quickly, the friends learn to keep Zeke's secret, but also use his fun alien powers to create both hijinks and solutions to the task at hand. Set both at home and at school, as well as camp and eventually um, outer space, kids find these characters relatable and entertaining. The entire series is available now in hardcover, paperback, and ebook. Um, we also offer Alien Next Door in Spanish. The first four books of this series have been translated for a Spanish reader, and we have a four book bind up coming in May 2024 as well. Um, and we have ebooks as well. Monster and Me, we're up to six books in this fantasy adventure series created by Hollywood executive Court Lane and illustrated by Ankitha Keeney. Monster and Me follows Freddy von Frankenstein and his monster big brother, FM, short for Frankenstein's monster, as well as, um, as his adopted sister, a werecat named Rhea, as they explore the supernatural mountain they call home and discover all the fantastic creatures living there. Set high up in the Himalayas, the kids encounter yetis, spirits, sprites, mischievous monkeys, and so much more. Set in their family palace, the Himalayan wilderness, school, and Dr. Frankenstein's lab, this series will keep kids engaged and laughing from the start. Hilarity ensues when mythical figures from cultures all over the world collide and create chaos book after book. Monster and Me features non-Western cultural myths and characters, including a non-binary character. And between the author's deep research and the illustrator's lived experience in the region, great care has gone into making this an authentic representation of setting and culture. The six book series is available now in hardcover, paperback, and ebook. Ella and Owen. 10 books complete this fantasy adventure series in which Ella and Owen are twin dragons with very opposite personalities. Ella is adventurous and outgoing while Owen is introverted and shy. It is their differences that lead to the twin shenanigans, but it's their differences that also end up saving the day. The dynamic duo batter, battle fiery colds, stinky fish monsters, grouchy wizards, a pie-wielding army of pumpkins, giant trolls, evil cyclops, feuding elves and dwarves, quibbling unicorn twins, my favorite, uncontrollable gremlins, and grumpy goblins. This series is nonstop action and silliness. We know humor is the number one things um, kids are looking for in books, and Ella and Owen delivers. And kids will find satisfaction reading the entire 10 book series. We offer Ella and Owen in hardcover, paperback, and ebook available now. And Tales of Sasha. Sasha is a young horse in Verdant Valley. She's always felt different from the other horses. She loves running, jumping, and exploring. But one day in class, Sasha has an unusual feeling that just makes her want to soar. Suddenly, wings sprout from her back, and Sasha takes flight. Sasha, we learn is a pegasus. Tales of Sasha is a celebration of individuality and teaches kids to embrace their differences. Throughout the 11 book series, Sasha and her friends embark on high-flying adventures while learning lessons of empathy, friendship, teamwork, and responsibility. Full of heart and lots of humor, kids will love soaring with Sasha and her friends. Also available now, hardcover, paperback, with sparkly jackets, and eBooks also. Mighty Meg. When Meg receives a ring for her eighth birthday, she wakes up the next day with superpowers. It doesn't take long for Mighty Meg to realize that she's not the only thing that has changed. Her town is different too and in danger. Can Mighty Meg harness her power to save her town without uncovering her super secret? Book one is Meg's origin story. While book two features Meg mastering her powers, Book three introduces a school bully and nemesis with superpowers of his own. And in book four, Meg masks up to conceal her true identity while doing the hard work of a benevolent superhero. This laugh out loud funny series features a protagonist of color who is plucky and full of wit. The superhero story appeals to both boy and girl readers looking for a fun adventure story. 
the two color interiors make the illustrations pop off the page. All four books in the Mighty Meg series are available now in hardcover, paperback, and ebook. Little Olympians, Little God's Big Personalities. From the creators of best-selling The Alien Next Door series, Little Olympians features all the Greek gods as kids at summer camp. Together, they all learn to control their powers so they can become the most fearless gods in history. In book one, Zeus's lightning is out of control. A single sneeze could create pandemonium. In book two, Athena learns that knowledge is the ultimate power. In book three, Hermes must race back to Athens to save the mortal town from certain destruction. Artemis's success is overshadowed by Apollo's bragging in book four, and the group learns a tough lesson about friendship. Packed with humor and light lessons, Little Olympians is a fun series for the budding Rick Riordan fan. Hardcovers, paperbacks, and ebooks available now. Major eights, Jasmine, Maggie, Becca, and Scarlett love jamming together in jam Jasmine's basement. Maggie bangs on the drums, Becca strums her guitar, Jasmine plunks the keys of her keyboard, and Scarlett wails into her hairbrush mic. Even though they might not have the best equipment or an audience, they have fun making their own music. With each book told from a different girl's perspective, this series is all about girl power, diversity, and marching to the beat of your own drum. With themes of friendship, school, and overcoming obstacles, kids will love that these four spunky girls aren't afraid to take chances and have fun. And they're always there to support each other. With different personalities and ethnicities represented, all girls will see themselves reflected in these characters. Hardcovers, paperbacks, and ebooks available now. Isle of Misfits. In a world where cryptids must be creepy, scary, and fierce, some folks just don't fit in. When Gibbon, the hyperactive gargoyle, wanders away from his post, he is rescued and relocated to the Isle of Misfits. Here, those that didn't fit in in the real world can learn to thrive in a healthy environment and even train to rescue other misfit monsters. From yetis, dragons, fairies, and a griffin who doesn't fly very well, leprechauns, cyclops, and trolls. Adventure ensues when these unlikely friends learn that what makes them different is also what makes them invaluable. Everyone has a place and a purpose at Misfit Island. Hardcovers, paperbacks, and ebooks available now. Escape From is a high interest fact-based fiction series that places kids right in the middle of history's most intense disasters. The series follows heroic kids in real life disasters all written at an accessible reading level. These action packed tales of danger and survival will keep any young reader engaged and is perfect for struggling readers. Each book in the series has two main characters, one boy and one girl, with alternating chapters, while told in first person present tense, placing the reader right into the heart of the story. The contemporary subjects, 9-11 and Hurricane Katrina, were both written by actual survivors of those devastating events. And the series is perfect for teachers and librarians looking to introduce young readers to history subjects. The Escape From series includes interstitial reality checks at the end of each chapter to give um, I'm sorry, to give factual explanations of the topics introduced to provide important context to modern readers. The series also includes a timeline, further reading, and bibliographies. Reluctant readers will love the Escape From series. Hardcovers, paperbacks, and ebooks all available now. Four books in one for those looking to consolidate space on a library shelf or have voracious readers looking for more than one book at a time, our paper overboard four books in one are just the thing. And this is just a slide of all of our chapter books at a glance. Um, at Little Bee Books, we have something for every reader. And here's a recap of our Little Bee Books imprints. All of our Little Bee Books chapter books are published under our Little Bee Books imprint, while Buzz Pop is our licensing and pop culture publishing, and Yellow Jacket includes our middle grade and YA publishing. Thank you all so much for what you do for your communities. Thanks, and um, thank you for your time, and please check out littlebeebooks.com for more.
Thank you so much, Alexis. And a big thank you to all of today's panelists. Tomorrow, all attendees will receive an email containing links to today's video recording, title list, PowerPoint slides, and certificate of completion. For more about Booklist webinars, be sure to visit booklistonline.com slash webinars, where you can view archives of past webinars and register for upcoming ones like those you see here. Between January 1st and August 31st, 2023, ALA's Office for Intellectual Freedom, OIF, documented challenges to 1,915 unique titles, an increase of 20% from the same reporting period in 2022. Join the fight to help protect the freedom to read by supporting the Unite Against Book Bans campaign and visit their website, uniteagainstbookbans.org, for resources, toolkits, merchandise, to donate, and more. And remember that you can utilize Booklist to support your library's collection development choices with reviews backed by the ALA. We have a special webinar subscription offer, and don't forget that your subscription dollars help ALA advocate on behalf of libraries, assisting those facing an unprecedented number of book challenges. Email us at info at booklistonline.com for more information. Attention booksellers! Booklist Reader showcases books your customers can purchase from your store today. And in addition to sharing from your website, you can now distribute print copies to your visitors. Scan the QR code on the screen or visit our website to order copies for your store today. And we have a special announcement introducing Booklist's Book Club, a year-long partnership with your favorite publishers. Each month, Booklist will showcase book club picks and supporting materials from a different publisher, offering a wide range of genres and age groups to fit the needs of any book discussion group. Mark your calendars for November when we'll hear about book club picks from Macmillan Publishers. To find out more information, scan the QR code on this slide or visit our website. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. And one final thank you to our sponsors, Simon & Schuster's, Simon and Schuster Children's Publishing, Teacher Created Materials, Bellwether Media, and Little Bee Books. This concludes today's webinar. See you next time.